Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Super excited to bring you some new Playgrounds code, some sample code to have a play with. So simply go to my website, touch on coding, go to Playgrounds code. There's a tutorial that you're watching at the moment and we've got step by step what you have to do. So the first thing you need to do is just hold your finger down on that image and save that image to your camera roll. Super easy. The second bit, you need to go to this Google Doc and get the actual code. So you can see there, it's opening up a Google Doc and all you need to do is hold your finger down, select all, and copy. That's all you need to do. And then if you go back to uh, the website, if we go through the steps, step three, um, we're actually going to paste this into Playgrounds and I'll show you the rest of the steps. So let's jump into Playgrounds. That's how easy it is. Let's go new, let's go create Playground. We're gonna go with a blank template from scratch. We're gonna hold our finger down and paste It'll paste that code in, and there's only one thing we need to do with the code. All we need to do is go down towards the bottom, and you'll see a little error message. Um, all you need to do is see after the background.image equals, all you need to do there is insert a background, which is the image that we had at the start. So you press the plus at the top, go to the picture icon, go to your photo library, and if you go to recently added, uh, you should have um, your image there. There it is there. It drops it in and you can see that the error message has disappeared, which is fantastic. And all you have to do then is run my code. Now, when you run the code, uh, I would suggest because it's a, a decent size image and you want to actually have a look at it, that you actually hold your finger down on the middle and actually uh, drag across to make full size and there it is the code and what it does and this is what it does You actually tap on the umbrella once and a little animation with the rain comes down This is all from my book if I were a wizard So this is just some code to go with it. You've inspired them You've created that spark that coding spark in your young learners now. It's time to get in what else does it do? Well, if I actually touch on the letterbox it goes to an open letterbox and I can actually drag um the envelope around as well, which is pretty cool. So I'll just stop that. And there's some really cool things that we can actually do. So I'll just drag it back and so we can have a look at our code. Now I'm gonna break this code down into little sections for you a little bit later, some other tutorials so that you can actually have a look. What does this import UI kit and playground support and gameplay kit? What does it all mean? So we'll pull that apart, but what you can actually do is start to play around with the different graphics because the raindrops and the actual letterbox and the envelopes are actually just emojis. So I'm wondering if you can actually change the uh, raindrops into say something like love hearts and actually substitute it with a different emoji while keeping the same code and start to play around with the code, start to explore the code in Playgrounds and see what it can do. So that's just a great little way of getting you guys started uh, with the re release of my new children's coding picture book. If I were a wizard, I thought I'd put out some um, I guess some resources, support resources that would help you on your way. So Paul Hamilton, hope you really enjoyed that. Let's get coding. Everyone can code. Let's jump into the Playgrounds app. It's a fantastic coding app. Um, and there's some sample code to get you started.